How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop. At the request of fans, today we're replacing the thermal paste on the Acer Swift 2020. Let's reduce the CPU temperature by 2.5 degrees Celsius in six simple steps, easily improving your laptop's performance. Tutorials for replacing and upgrading thermal paste on laptops are available in the main tutorial collection on our homepage. You can also comment with your model if you need specific guidance. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Step 1. Get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Place the laptop with the back facing up and use a PH0 screwdriver to remove the 10 screws on the bottom cover. Note that the three screws at the bottom are short, while the others are long. It's advised to use a magnetic mat to avoid mixing or losing screws. Prepare the triangular pry tool and spudger, and insert the triangular pry tool at the bottom of the laptop, running it around the edges. Once the pry tool is inserted, gently move it up and down to easily open the bottom cover. After opening the bottom cover, use the spudger to disconnect the power cable by pushing outward on both sides of the connector. After disconnecting the power, remember to press and hold the power button for 15 seconds to discharge any residual power. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Use the spudger to disconnect the fan power cable. Remove the two screws securing the fan. Following the numbered order, loosen the five screws on the thermal module to prevent detachment. Use a high-quality screwdriver, such as the Cooling Monster Combo 01, and apply vertical pressure to prevent stripping the screws. Carefully lift both sides of the heatsink to remove it. To clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. Make sure to clean off the remaining thermal paste from the cooling module. Step 4. Clean the fan. We used an anti-static brush and compressed air to perform the cleaning. When using compressed air, maintain a small distance to avoid spraying liquid compressed air is great for cleaning fine details and significantly improves dust removal efficiency. After completing the cleaning, don't forget to clean the dust on the back plate. Step 5. Apply thermal paste. Here we used Cooling Monster Cold 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-Size method if you like. Step 6. Reassemble your laptop. Next, reassemble the components in reverse order. Gently place the thermal module back. Tighten the screws in numerical order to about 70%, and once all screws are in place, fully tighten to avoid excessive stress. Reinstall the fan. Tighten the screw securing the fan. Reconnect the exhaust fan power cable. Finally, plug the power cable back into the motherboard. Press the power button to turn it on and check for proper operation. Close the laptop's bottom cover, snap the clips back into place, and screw all the screws back into the bottom cover.
Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.